Hello everyone, my name is VJ and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In the series of CK questions and answer, we have reached to the last question, which is question number 17. In this question, we're going to address an issue um, around TLS config update and also we have to verify that it's working. So I, so I will read out the question for you. So question is, there is an existing deployment in Engine, Nginx static namespace. The deployment contains a config map that supports TLS 1.2 and TLS 1.3 as well as secret TLS. There's a service called Nginx service in the Nginx static namespace that is currently exposing the deployment. So we uh, so configure the config map to only support um, TLS 1.3. So basically we have to remove 1.2 and we have to add the IP address in the service, uh, which is an ETC host. So we can ping it to verify that it's still working after removing and, and we also have to verify that TLS 1.2 is not working. So these are the two tasks need to be done. Um, I will spread this and we will get it started now. So first thing first, as you know, I have got the repo here, uh, which you can get from my description. I will copy that and uh, I will clone here. So once the repo has been cloned, I will go into the folder and I will run the script for the question number 17. So bash scripts run question dot sh and I will put the name for the question 17. So it will run the script for this question only. So now this has been done um, already. I will clean it and I will do a CD. So I come out from this folder and I'm, I'm now in the root folder. Now to start with, um, I will just check the deployment is there. Deployment nginx static under the namespace called nginx static, right? So we know this uh, that it's there. So we also can see uh, where is the config map is. So for that we can do kubectl gate config map um, in namespace called nginx statistic static and we know that this is a names um config map called engine config exists there so what we could do we have to modify this um, you know config map so keep ctl added config map name nginx config and this is in under namespace called nginx static right this is all given in the question so and it's, if you read the question, you will understand this. So we are in the file now. Um, we have to find the value for TLS, TLS 1.2. I'm going to remove this and I will make sure there's no other reference to it. So if I come down and I can see there's one more reference here around here. So I will remove this uh, value as well. Now escape and I come out of this file. I've saved the file. What we need to do, we need to restart the deployment. So that will actually trigger the changes. So kubectl um, roll out restart deployment and deployment name nginx static. And this is in the namespace called nginx static. So, so as you can see, deployment has been restarted. Now we need to add the IP address. To add the IP address, we need to get the service ip address to get the service ip address what we have to do is kubectl gate as we see in nginx static namespace and now we know the ip address so what we need to do is sudo and what we want to do is this ip address pick up this ip address paste it and you can refer it to the any name so it can be um like a ck question you can give a dumb idea as well if you want to so it doesn't matter as local, this sounds more like a um, host name, so which is great. Uh, and I will close the code and I will map it to um, etc hosts. And this has been done. So last thing we have to do, which is given in the question that you have to curl and check the connectivity. So we will curl uh, vk come on, hyphen hyphen tls max 1.2 https colon and we have to pick up this host name right 
So this gives us an error as you can see. So this is what expected. TLS alert protocol actually means that it has rejected the request to handshake. And if you do the same thing for TLS 1.3, we should get the 200 response. So as you can see, there's a 200 response HTTP and this is um, exactly what we wanted. So this is the one of the easiest question you can say. Uh, keep doing the labs uh, until you remember these commands. Um, you know, probably I will say you have to do multiple times uh, these labs. So, um, you know, just keep doing that. I will probably make a video for this if you like to make a video um you know discuss about it but i would i i will just uh, wish you all the best uh and do the labs pass the exam kubernetes has a really good future um so for with that um you know i'll see you around and take care all the very best